the sarangi is basically one piece of wood into which the wooden pegs are inserted. The belly is hollow, carved out, covered with parchment, goat skin. The foot of the bridge touches the rim of the belly. And that itself transmits the sound. We have three, three main strings, mostly of all gut strings, and about 30 to 35 sympathetic strings of thin gauge steel. The three main strings are of gut, but I use the lowest one. I use the metal string from the cello. The strings are tuned, the main strings, the tonic of the middle octave, lower fifth and lower octave. And there are 30 to 35 sympathetic strings made of thin gauge steel. They are tuned to the notes of the raga or the scale. There are four sets of sympathetic strings. There are two on top tuned definitely to the scale. And you see those small bridges which give a special timber, some twang to it, which excites the other uh, sets of uh, sympathetic strings to resonate. So we have the side series, which is again and also tuned to the scale. And there are underneath chromatic strings. It has a easily playable range of three octaves and the fourth is used only for harmonics. We don't press the string downwards like in the cello, but we play with the cuticles of the index, middle and ring finger. There are two styles of playing. One is on the edge of the cuticle and the nail, which I follow. And the other style is purely about the cuticles, which forms thick, thick calluses. When I began learning, I played with the second style, purely on the cuticles. And then I gradually came across a teacher who, a great master, who showed me this technique of playing on the border. Things like, which I have borrowed from stringed instruments, plucked instruments. This is never done on the sarangi, traditionally. They would play. The traditional sarangi bow, horse hair. Contrabass bow, German style, and I would hold it like this. I like this, in that sense, to come to very low uh, energy levels. This is a very, actually it's an adaptation of the Western bow, but used in India for a uh, stringed instrument, which is a hybrid between the sarangi and the sitar. It's called israj. I use this because it gives me shorter strokes and I can paint more number of strokes with this. It cannot generate much volume with this because of its 
weight is light. Now some Indian bow maker has tried to make a hybrid between the traditional sarangi bow and the contrabass bow. This white band is where normally the bow works. pre-grace notes and post-grace notes. That's how it executed in high speed. One's variations is the reverse of that, that becomes the third one. Another variation. But the most common is murky or what you call mordant. Instead of going like this, horizontally, we take an arc. We would keep the finger on the middle point and go, the finger goes like an arc. Now if I do the arc system, slide within the rack but move over many notes instead of one to, to from point A to point B like for example
not much. We rather use uh, expanded vibrato, what we call andolan, like. Speed of doing that. You can't be doing it. It has to be. You know the Rabab? Afghanistan. Improvise meaning unfold. If I play a few routines, some more combinations can happen, but these, these are more uh, building up of uh, brick by brick. But if I want to take artistic leaps, So I'm not playing. I won't. I'm, what I would what I would think of is, but I'm playing it. So this gives this small uh, touch phrase helps me to get more uh, opens up many more windows for unfolding. Like. What I do uh, mostly is to make my own transcriptions below the staff in the Indian Saragama. Okay. Uh, this is one. Sometimes I just write uh, the idea how you want it. You know, if it's a passage where you don't dictate uh, a set of notes, but you say you want this kind of nuance to emerge, then I would make some kind of symbolic. Uh, things there. And maybe if you indicate certain notes, I would write uh, just graze over those notes, you know, like that. Ideally, recording and the notation. Because I would, at the subliminal level, try to make a picture, visualization of the notation. I'll not use it, but it still plays a role in giving the time uh, line. Pilu, rag pilu, the basic scale. uses flat 7th and 6th natural. Natural 3rd. The ascending and descending orders.